My God, this news is going to shake the NFL world. Have you ever imagined this? Undoubtedly, one of the most exciting news of the day. So, please, like it now so you don't miss any of these wonderful updates. The Dallas Cowboys have recently made a trade with the San Francisco 49ers and are now being urged to carry out an even bigger deal than the exchange of a fourth-round pick for Trey Lance. Analyst VOC Lombardi has proposed a bold scenario in which the Cowboys could explore a possible transaction for defensive linebacker Nick Boza, as the star is in a complicated situation with the Niners' management regarding his upcoming contract. Ian Rappaport called into Pat McAfee's show, and whenever Ian Rappaport says something, we must pay attention to his words, right? Lombardi detailed it in the Bleacher Report, and there are two things that Ian Rappaport said that made me ponder this. He mentioned that both parties are not close, and that made me think him. But, you know, even if they're not close, towards the end of the preseason or something like that, something will be imminent. It's not close, but something is on the horizon. Then Ian Rappaport said that nothing is imminent, and I began to imagine Nick Boza and my beloved Dallas Cowboys. San Francisco 49ers star Nick Boza has accumulated a total of 34 sacks in the last two years. Boza is entering the final season of his rookie contract, valued at $33.5 million, and is seeking a lucrative contract extension. Few defensive linebackers have Boza's resume, three Pro Bowl selections, Defensive Player of the Year in 2022, All-Pro Team Member in 2022, and Defensive Rookie of the Year. Except for his almost absence in the 2020 season, Boza has proven to be remarkably durable, missing only one game in the last two seasons. Boza has recorded 34 sacks in the last two years, including a personal record of 18.5 in 2022. Additionally, he has added 51 tackles, 48 quarterback hits, 19 tackles for loss, and two forced fumbles in the last season. Nick Boza is projected to receive a new contract worth $167.5 million, which likely exceeds the Dallas Cowboys' budget. The idea of having Boza and Micah Parsons on opposite sides would be terrifying for rival quarterbacks, but also raises concerns about the Cowboys' financial situation. Parsons still has two years remaining on his rookie contract and could be seeking a record-breaking new contract in the future. So, do you want to put Nick Boza on the other side of Demarcus Lawrence and just let Micah Parsons roam from wherever he wants? This trio as Lombardi has suggested in my mind, and even though this conversation is full of exaggerations, wishes, and magic wands, it made me think, hey, this is not something that's going to happen. I was just reflecting on it. I know the Cowboys need help on the offensive line. I know they need defensive linebackers. It would be fun if the Cowboys had a big, powerful runner, but don't let it be called Hunter Lupique because you already know how I feel about that. But, man, you know what would make me feel better about my offensive line? Nick Boza. <laughs>